Hey guys, last week we talked about Be Ye Holy, and this week it goes right along with it. Uh, it's a little bit forward. I'm going to be a little bit forward with you, but stay with me because I love you. Uh, this is, I want to talk about dealing with the flesh this week. We have a little enemy, the devil, that comes around and tries to, you know, pick at us. But we've got a bigger enemy, and that's our flesh man, that we sometimes, you know, blame our wrongdoings on everything else, but we've got this, this, this flesh that we deal with that draws us into doing wrong things or thinking wrong things or, or choosing wrong. Uh, so I want to talk about that today. I want to begin by taking you to Jude. And I've just highlighted some of the verses here. It says in Jude 1, 20 uh, through 25, you can go back and read the entire thing, but it talks about building up yourselves in your most holy faith. And then it says, keep our, yourselves in the love of God. And then down in 24, it says, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God and Savior. So we have, we have help, but sometimes we don't rely on that help. We just let our flesh run things like we want. The, you know, the world says, if it feels good, do it. Oh, let me tell you, that leads to destruction. So I'm gonna ask you some questions today, and I've got simple answers for you. So are you caving to temptation? Stop it. That's our key word today is stop it. Everything you deal with, there's answers in God's word. And today I'm gonna to cover some of those and I'm gonna to try to be real quick with it because I got a lot of verses I wanna share with you. But that first one about caving to temptation, it says in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, that there hath no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above what you can above that you are able but will with the temptation also make a way of, es of escape that you may be able to bear it the next one are you giving into fear there's a lot of fear going out there going around right now but are you giving into fear stop it second timothy 1 7 says for god hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind now are you putting things before god letting things become idols in your life in your life are you putting things above before god stop it in matthew 4 10 it says then saith jesus unto him get thee hence satan for it is written thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve are you blaming others for your sin stop it in in James 1:14, it says, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Are you repeating? Are you repeatedly committing the same sin? Stop it. Romans 6, one through two says, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace, grace shall abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? And in Romans 6, six through seven, it says, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. We read that last week. It's a great verse. Okay, here's the next one. Are you trusting in your own works to justify you? Stop it. Galatians 2, 16, the first half of it says, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of in Jesus Christ and Ephesians 2 8 and 9 says for by grace are you saved through faith not of yourselves it is the gift of God not by works lest lest any man should boast next are you allowing your mind to be overwhelmed stop it Psalm 61 2 says from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Next question. Are you looking for your answers everywhere and anywhere but in God and in his word? Stop it. Psalm 121.2 says, My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Are you letting negative, hateful, hurtful, doubtful words of people or even the devil define who you are? Stop it. 
Romans 8, 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Just a couple more for you. Can you stay with me just a minute? The next question says, Are you plagued with negative thoughts? That's a really hard one. Stop it. We've got to stop it. Philippians 4, 8 tells us, what to be thinking about. It says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true and honest and just and pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. It tells us right there what to think about. And the last one I wanna cover is, are you having trouble with anger? Stop it. <laughs> Psalm 37, eight says, cease from anger and forsake wrath Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. See, God's word gives us hope. God gives us strength when we rely on him. When we try to do things in our own strength, it doesn't always work out so well, but we have a savior to help us. Now, you are in control of you. You're in control of your, your actions. You're in control of your words. You have the power within you to control the thoughts that you think. You decide where you go and what you do and what you say. You can't blame anyone else on your wrong choices, but you do have a God who is always available 24 seven to forgive you, to strengthen you, to help you in everything. You don't have to try on your own. And I wanna go back to that verse in Jude 1 through, uh, 1, Jude 1, 20 through 25. It's, building up yourselves on your most holy faith. You have, if you want to be victorious and overcome these and stop doing these things that plague you, you build up yourselves in your most holy faith. And how do we do that? By talking, having communication with God. Actually, he's right here in my heart. I just talk to him right here, right now. And reading his word spending time with building yourself up on your most holy faith by spending time with God, keeping yourselves in the love of God. Now it says in verse 24, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. And in Galatians 6, 8, it says, for he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap, reap life everlasting. We have to be real careful of what we're sowing to, sowing to the spirit or sowing to our flesh. When our flesh wants to do things that we know are not right, when our flesh, when our flesh wants to say things that we know are hurtful, when our flesh wants to go places we shouldn't be going, just stop it. Just stop right there. When you have these thoughts, that plague you, just stop it. Give them over to God and instantly talk with him and, and, and ask him for his strength. He'll give it to you. He's, he's, he will never, he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never let you down. You need help with things, you talk to him and you ask him. So to wrap it up, my key words here, stop it. <laughs> Choose this day to serve the Lord with your thoughts, with your actions, with your words, everything you have and everything you are, he's worth it. There's a little movie called Luca, it's a little cartoon, and um, they have a little saying throughout there, it says, Silencio Bruno, it's a little Italian show, um, and I just, I really like that. It, 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 he's just saying, man, those thoughts that come into your head, whether they be from other people, negative, speaking negative to you, or, or, or yourself, your flesh speaking negative, Silencio, but we say silencio me stesso, which is silence myself, not silence some Bruno, but silencio me stesso. Silence those, those things within your head and let it line up with the word of God. And the only way we can do that is if we read the word of God and know what it says. Things that are bothering you, things that, whether it be fear or doubt or, or just that you feel insecure, whatever it is, Man, find some word, verses in the, in the Word of God that are, this is true. The Word of God is true. Find verses in the Word of God to combat that. Dwell on God's Word. Spend time in God's Word. Uh, what, reminder back in there in Jude, it says, building up yourselves 
on your most holy faith. God wants you to live victorious, abundantly. Keep yourselves in the love of God and know that he is able to keep you from falling. You must spend time with him and build yourself up on your most holy faith in Christ Jesus our Lord. See you next week.